The future is a lot closer than you think, and it's going to be radically different from the present, thanks to rapidly evolving technology. Today, I'm letting you in on 15 technologies you probably don't know about right now but could change the world forever. Let's get to it. Taking the number one spot, we have underwater gloves. Right now, a team of researchers over at Virginia Tech are working on octopus-inspired gloves which will give humans the ability to grip objects securely underwater. There are many things humans don't do well underwater, and one thing is gripping. If you've ever tried to hold onto a wriggling fish, you know what I'm talking about. Holding onto wriggling fish might not seem like such a big deal but there are times when a poor grip underwater could have serious consequences. Think about rescue divers, underwater archaeologists, bridge engineers, and salvage crews. All of these need to apply a delicate touch underwater in the course of their jobs but the human hands just aren't made for that. This is where the underwater gloves come in handy. The Virginia Tech scientists get their inspiration from the adhesive features of an octopus pods which grip and release on demand. It's not clear when the underwater gloves will be ready as of yet. But a lot of progress has been made with this invention already. At number 2, we have neck robotics. Neck robotics means what you're probably thinking, dead things being resurrected as robot grippers. But don't worry, the technology only deals with bringing dead bugs back to life, at least for now. For the longest time, bugs have fascinated roboticists. These guys are amazingly mobile, super efficient, and unbelievably robust. Not surprisingly, scientists have tried to create their own bug but it's so difficult. Then they discovered that they could just hijack and repurpose dead bugs, and just like that, it was QED. Spiders have an internal valve system which controls their limbs by adjusting blood pressure as needed. This is why when spiders die and there is no more blood pressure, their legs curl up. Scientists at Rice University are mimicking this biomechanics by stabbing dead spiders in the middle and injecting air into their corpses. The inflow of this air will deliver the pressure that the legs of the dead spider need to straighten and inflate again, thereby creating an efficient robot gripper that can help pick up and put down objects. Will scientists be exploring other animals for neck robotics? Well, that's yet to be seen. At number 3, we have Extended Reality or XR for short. You've heard of Augmented Reality, Virtual Reality, and maybe even Mixed Reality too. Well, have you heard of Extended Reality? It's all of these realities rolled into one, used to create more immersive digital experiences. Even right now, XR Tech is finding real applications in our world and there's no doubt that it will dramatically revolutionize the way we interact with technology in the near future. In 2019, a study was conducted and as many as 60% of the respondents were of the opinion that XR could become mainstream in the next five years. That's as soon as 2024 when you might be able to do things like have lunch in a faraway land, like you were actually on site, without needing to travel or buy property anywhere in the world. Of course, there are still a few obstacles here and there like how bulky and pricey XR headsets are right now, not to mention the potential mental and physical impacts highly immersive tech could have on humans. So, maybe 2024 was too ambitious a prediction. We move to number 4 on our list today and that's going to be 3D printing. You might think that there's nothing particularly radical about 3D printing anymore but there's still a lot of stuff we've not been able to create using 3D printing. With the progress being made in this field though, we could begin to see radical disruption in several industries in the near future. Think about how 3D could be used by factories to create spare parts for machinery. This could replace entire assembly lines. We could also print human body parts. In fact, right now, a company known as Ossiform is working on printing human bones. These 3D human bones are made using tricalcium phosphate, which means that the muscle will eventually transform the 3D printed implants into vascularized bone. Really, anything you can possibly think of could be created using 3D printing in the future, even food. Imagine what that could mean for alleviating world hunger and poverty. Truly phenomenal. Let's move on to the fifth item on our list, xenotransplantation. 
Xenotransplantation involves the transplanting of animal cells, tissues, or organs into a human body. When you hear it for the first time, it does sound like a bad idea. Nevertheless, this innovation is seeing rapid progress in the field of medicine and surgery. So far, the most common procedure performed is a heart transplant from a pig to a human. Already, this procedure has been carried out twice, although one of the patients eventually died after a few months while the other one was still under observation as of December 2022. Of course, this procedure is not perfect yet and some gene editing needs to take place first before a pig's heart can be transplanted into a human body. However, surgeons and researchers are working on the process and so we might begin to see xenotransplants happening on a regular basis in the near future. At number 6, we have AI image generation. You've probably heard of ChatGPT and how it's creating whole articles all from simple prompts. Well, AI isn't just disrupting the world of content creation, it's also disrupting the world of art. Over at OpenAI, a team of researchers have come up with a software that can create original images from simple, worded prompts only. So, you can enter a prompt as random as cat reading book sipping from a coconut or whatever you want, and you'd immediately be flooded with dozens of completely original images that fit your prompt. In fact, you could even select the style art you'd want your image to come in. The technology, called Dolly isn't exactly perfect yet. There are still many areas that need to be worked on. But the software is now in its second iteration and there are plans to keep developing it. In the future, we might see whole art exhibitions created using AI imaging alone. It could even change the way we create memes on the internet forever. At number 7, we have hydrogen planes. Commercial flights emit a lot of CO2 and this remains a huge problem as regards global warming. Thankfully though, there seems to be a feasible alternative and it's got many investors interested. They are called hydrogen planes. The Aviation Technology Institute and the Government of the United Kingdom have partnered on a project that they've named Fly Zero. As part of their project, the team has drawn up a proposal for a mid-sized plane that is powered entirely by liquid hydrogen. This plane would have a 279-person capacity and would be able to carry passengers halfway around the globe non-stop. The project is still in the works but once launched, it would now become possible to board a non-stop zero-carbon flight between London and Western America, or a similar flight between London and New Zealand with one stop. Next up on our list, at number 8, we have sweat-powered smartwatches. It is exactly as it sounds, a smartwatch that is powered by your sweat. Over at the University of Glasgow, a team of engineers have been able to come up with a new kind of supercapacitor which replaces the electrolytes found in conventional batteries with sweat. All it takes to get these smartwatches fully charged is 20 microliters of sweat. And once fully charged, the battery lasts for quite a long time in spite of all the activities it might have to endure. The way the smartwatch works, it has a coating of polyester cellulose cloth on the back which absorbs the wearer's sweat. There are positive and negative ions in your sweat. So, these ions will interact with the polymer on the back of the watch, triggering an electrochemical reaction that in turn generates energy to power the smartwatch. At number 9, we have living robots. What we're all familiar with are mechanical robots. And now because of this video you know about neck robotics. However, have you heard of living robots? Scientists right now are working to create tiny hybrid robots using stem cells from frog embryos. In the future, these living bots could be used to swim around human bodies to deliver medicine to specific areas. They could also be used to gather microplastic in the oceans. There are a few prototypes of these living bots available already, although lots of research and development still need to be done by the computer scientists and robotics experts over at the University of Vermont. What makes these living robots so radical is that they are not exactly a known species of animal and they are not your traditional bot either. These are living yet programmable organisms, a category the world has never seen before. Alright, number 10, digital twins that monitor your health. A US company, QBio, has created a scanner that will perform a comprehensive medical checkup on humans in just about an hour. 
This scanner can check your hormone levels, your liver, and even spot cancers, and hundreds more biomarkers, and then use the data obtained to create a 3D digital avatar of your body, which QBio calls your digital twin. Once this invention becomes mainstream, it could massively improve on what we currently have in the areas of preventative and personalized medicine. The vast amounts of data digital twins would collect could help doctors develop more sophisticated ways of diagnosing illnesses, which could save lives. Next on our list at number 11, we have living concrete. From living robots to living concrete, humans seem obsessed with seeing non-living things come to life. And you can't blame us, it's fascinating and many times even beneficial. A team of researchers from the University of Colorado, Boulder, discovered that it could create living concrete by mixing sand with gel and bacteria. It's highly revolutionary but you might be wondering why the world needs this tech. Well, concrete, as you know, is a building material. But the researchers say that living concrete would outperform regular concrete in many critical areas. For instance, this living concrete will have a structural load-bearing function. But in addition, it will also be able to heal its own cracks, absorb dangerous toxins from the air, and even glow on command. That said, we now move on to number 12, catapulting satellites into space. Catapult might be oversimplifying things. But yes, there is a technology currently in the works that will make it possible to launch satellites and other payloads into space using kinetic energy instead of chemical fuel as it is traditionally done now. Currently, there is a prototype system on ground called Spin Launch. As work progresses on the system, we could be seeing payloads being shot into space from large launch tubes at 8,000 km per hour and 10,000 gs. Spin Launch claims that this system cuts down on fuel and infrastructure by a whopping 70%, which of course is super impressive. Alright, now to number 13. And this time, it's a very simple technology known as sand batteries. A group of Finnish engineers have discovered a way to turn sand into an efficient battery. How did they do this? They gathered 100 tons of sand and put it into a 4 by 7 meter steel container. Afterward, they heated the sand using wind and solar energy, and boom, they created a sand battery. According to the engineers, the sand battery can store heat for long periods of time. This heat can then be distributed to buildings in nearby cities, thereby helping to provide warmth for homes. And now to number 14, lab-made dairy products. Did you know that the dairy industry produces more carbon emissions than air travel and shipping combined? So, naturally scientists are worried, which is why they are looking for ways to create dairy products like milk, ice cream, cheese, and eggs in the lab. Some US companies like Perfect Day already have a few lab-made dairy products in the market. However, work is still going on to reproduce the same mouthfeel and nutritional benefits of regular cow's milk in these synthetic products. You might also be happy to know that there's research going to create lab-made mozzarella that melts perfectly on pizza. Finally, we have sonic fire extinguishers. You might be shocked to know that you can fight fire using sound waves. Of course, do not try this at home because it's not that simple. However, scientists are researching into and developing a way to deal with forest fires simply by directing loud sound at trees. Sound is made of pressure waves, so it can be used to disrupt the air surrounding a fire. As you know, fire needs a supply of oxygen to burn. But by disrupting the air around the fire, the sound waves essentially cut off the supply of oxygen which could put out the fire. The sonic fire extinguisher is being worked on by researchers at the George Mason University in Virginia. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. What future tech blew your mind away the most? Let me know by dropping a comment below. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.